because they don't want to be shamed. No, because they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions. I think you That's guys, it's, it's unrealistic <laughs> for you guys to think that these women at 22 would be the same woman at 42. Like, it's, it's not making any sense to me that you guys are so flabbergasted that there are wives and mothers. Yeah, I don't well, know. I'm why, not going to lie. Life you, why are you goes shocked? on beyond the strip club, beyond the streets. Like, apparently, people settle down and th their lives move on. Just like niggas. Niggas be in the streets. We all know that. Niggas be in the streets. They, they're they drug dealers. They be in the clubs. They buy bottles. They whatever. They, they hoe in out in the streets. Well, guess what? A couple years down the line, they're fucking truck drivers. They're fucking dads with dad bots. Like, listen, we're not the same people we were when we were young. I don't understand why this doesn't apply to women. But why they are you stealing shit, Amanda? Why do you think that they're not shit? They're not the same. Per Even if they weren't, they weren't shit at 22, 21, whatever the fuck they were doing at that age. Why do you think that they haven't learned life by now? When they're at this different point, we're not saying that you can't be. We're not saying, hey, you can't go get a different job. I'm not saying you can't go from a drug dealer to a truck driver. You can't go from a drug dealer to an entrepreneur. First of all, drug dealing is damn near an entrepreneur, realistically, right? Especially if you're a successful one. Now I'm talking nickel and dime and dubs, <laughs> right? But if you're, so we're not saying you can't go get a new career. We're saying. So is being a stripper. Okay. We're saying don't. Try to be something that you are not, right? So if you are a stripper, if you are a sex worker, don't go out and try to be a PTA. Why? Mother. You, no, but the, it's still the same thing. No, it's it is literally not. It's not even the same, same job. It's, it's like, yo, first of all, it's like this, right? I feel like we try to blend so much. And this is the problem with today's world right now. The problem with today's world right now, we try to blend fake with the goddamn real. Right. We got a fake wannabe housewife, good Virgin Mary mother versus a real one in the same area trying to blend in like fake diamonds and real diamonds all in one chain. So, and it's like, yo, if we if we pull out the te diamond tester, we start poking them shits around. Some of them going to light up and some of them not going to light at all. And we cannot do that because what happens is we then lose a whole a whole like morality on the integrity of a person. You want to know what what's, be a you, you want to know what's the real about that you test? You got to be a but like you, you, you want to know what the real about that test is? It, it really don't be the ex strippers and the ex that be testing fake. Yes, They're, they do. It what be the what are you be talking those, about? It be the ones that were strippers and they done with that life and now they want to be mothers and and. And, and they be the realest ones. It be the ones the that board you housewife. think. It be the ones that you think are the nice, gentle housewives. Oh, they're such a good girl. They're the ones that be testing fake. So listen, <laughs> those do test fake too. We're not. I'm not saying that they're not up for the chopping block because they're the same woman. To be honest, when you actually look at it, they're the same thought that is trying to be a housewife that's actually looking as if she's perfect and this picture perfect idealistic wife and she's really just an ex she really is becky that was getting slaughtered down in high school who then got her shit together and buttoned up her dress we're talking about the same person i don't think you realize that morals are morals and some people's morals will never waver right those are the ones that are testing real a woman whose morals never waver it doesn't matter if you give her ten thousand or ten million she's gonna sit there and be like i don't think i can do this even if she tries to do it, she'd be like, I can't do it. But the ex thoughts that you talking about, <laughs> the ex strippers and, and all of them, first of all, they're not, they're not even longevity wives. Majority of them fall off somewhere down, down the line, right? But I will say this. I will say this, Amanda. When it's all said and done, the truth, true depth of a person will always revisit the surface. It will always re revisit the surface. So if you were an ex drug dealer, gang member, et cetera, et cetera, let that situation come forth 20 years later and you're gonna watch that nigga be a nigga. Okay. Look, look, look. you're gonna watch that thought be a thought. You're gonna watch as that. You say that. But, but I'm trying to say that to say this. I'm not saying not to 
try to be a better person. Do your best. But you cannot neglect what's in you. And what's in you is, it's in you for a reason. You can heal. You might not even engage in, to, in those activities again. But be an example of what not to do because of the demons that you fight with the experiences that you've willingly participated in. But when we have these people, for example, if we have a woman who is an ex thought who actually was able to become a better woman, never educate women to prevent them from becoming a thought, and instead do, do your route and say, it's okay, you can change your life and get a second chance at life, it's never going to end, bro. And nine times out of ten, it's not going to work out for them. And it's the wrong information. The guy's with a girl in another scenario. Let's just say some girl named Becky. And he comes back and he finds out he's chilling. And he's like, oh, Becky, you a Becky? Oh, super Becky. Like, Why do you guys call her super Becky? What she gave hat to the half the football team when she was in high school. What, what am I supposed to do with that? I got to trust this every day. She is good. So she know how to suck real good. You're married to a man. You're married to a man. I heard that. You in a strip club. I had to say it twice. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're in a strip club, right? You're having a good time. You know, because being in a strip club doesn't make you a hoe. And it don't. While you're having a good time, you go to the strip club with your husband. Mm -hmm. He goes to the bathroom, and a stripper whispers in your ear, he ate all of our pussies. Ooh. But it was five years ago, 10 years ago, before y'all got married. Oh. How you feeling? Before we got married or before I met him? No, but before you, well, both. both, both. Well, before y'all dated and then got married. Has he been tested? He's been tested. He's tested positive. I mean, tested negative. Still right. gross. <laughs> but, but he's tested negative. He's known for eating, strippers. He, he's known for eating all the stripper's pussy. That's his prep. I eat stripper's box. That's what, that's what he's known for. Mr. Stripper Munch. There you go. Stripper Munch. But he eats yours good, too. So but he eats yours, yeah. So he, I know. Yeah. But no, but you didn't know from him. You found out by the strippers at the strip club. Because in my right mind, I would, I, I don't think that a nigga is going to tell me that, that he went to the strip club and was he's not in all of, he's not going to tell me that. He definitely is not going to tell okay. you that. So all I would do is be like, babe, so you was eating the stripper's pussies? That, that girl just, so you been here, like, this is what you was doing? It's literally just a conversation because be okay. now in the back of my mind, Women I know sick. that this is what he's capable of. So I'm going to have a conversation to be like, so this is what you, this is what you do. This is what you've been doing. But I doing. don't expect any nigga to tell me that he was eating strippers pussies. Like he all would of never tell and you. Then, and then he Nobody's like going to tell me that. And I'm not even going to be mad that I did not know this because who the fuck would say that? As Amanda, as then he goes it. like this. Yeah, babe, you still love me? Well, you already know. I mean, hey, you ain't eat no nobody you, pussy you gonna, tonight. You going to except mine. You so you can you lying. I know you're why? capping. I know you're capping. Why would I make that an issue? Like, why would I make that an issue right now? Right here? Because do I think that he's eating pussy right now? Do I think that he's about to take one of them to the back right now and eat pussy? If I did think that, then that makes me insecure. No. OK, so let me ask you this question. then, since you think you know it all be and, and, and answer it honestly. Honestly. I'll, try. I'll try. No, no, no. Answer it honestly. Okay. Watch this. Answer it honestly. No, you don't care this. that he ate all the strippers' pussies and she told you and he didn't tell you, right? You don't care. Correct. You guys go home. Next week, he like, yo, babe, I'm about to go to the same, same strip club by myself. That's why I said, in the back of my mind, I know that this is what he's capable of. Now. Before, you never had an issue. But, yeah, it's... I know that this is what he's capable of. So now, of course, I'm always going to be on guard now when you talk about the strip club. But am I mad that you didn't tell me mm. and the stripper told me? No, I'm not. Because I didn't expect that information to come from you, but to be honest. now the situation, see, you, you married. We're saying in this, in this situation, you married, you've been dating for however long. He's been going to the strip clubs, never had an issue. You find out the truth about him. And now you have an issue. You like the truth as if he told me a lot, as if I asked him anywhere down the line, have you ever ate any stripper's box I before? I said you found out the truth. You said exactly those words. You found out the truth as if he lied to me no, before. there's no as if. You found out the truth as if he omitted You guys get truth. what I'm saying? Yeah, he I omitted, got what you're saying. 
He omitted the, the truth. The expectation is different with a woman. What she's saying is, like, with a man, you I'm might expect it. her to tell Y'all you, like, listen. I have a past. Y'all I not listening this. to what I'm trying to say. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. He's omitted the truth. You found out the truth of his real behaviors and what he used to like to do. Do you understand? Are you following? Is okay. It an omission? I, 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 that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's an omission. I think that any, first of all, rule number one, guys shouldn't just be eating box like that. That's the one. Wait, but hold on. What Wait, if I, I met Lucy? On what if I met Lucy today at the strip club or at a party or whatever? And she says, yo, I used to fuck with your husband. Am I going to be mad at Lucy because she told me I'm not my husband? No, because I don't know who the fuck Lucy is. So why would my husband say, oh yeah, I, I fucked Lucy before. But we're not talking I'm, about one person. We're talking about so a history right I'm now. I'm saying what? it's not an omission. If I've, if uh, the conversation of Fucking strippers never came up in our conversation. Why would my husband have told me that he's eaten all of these strippers' pussies before? Because he's bringing you to the same place. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have another question for you. Wait, I want to ask you okay, because there's a point, but th but they be deflecting. So here's the point. Oh, sorry. You know the truth now about him. Okay. You now know the truth, and now he wants to revisit the same strip clubs that he was already visiting throughout your relationship. Does your does your situation now change with your husband? Yes. That's my fucking point. So if it doesn't matter, why would it, if it doesn't matter if he told you, right, why would it change your relationship with what he's already been accustomed to doing with you? Okay. I just want to backtrack and say that <laughs> I've never said that the past doesn't matter. In the initial situation, I said that the conversation did need to happen. Like she should have said, whatever she said, but I understand why she didn't. She was trying to start a new life. But now that he knows, I think that there should be now a conversation so that they can move forward. I don't think that he should leave her. That's what I said. I didn't say that the past doesn't matter. I be wanting to know a, a, a person's past. I'll tell you that straight up. I be wanting to know shit. So I'm going to ask shit. If shit don't come up in conversation, that's my fault because I ain't ask. Like, she might feel uncomfortable with him going to the strip club without her because she's like... Why? It shouldn't matter. No, no I didn't say it didn't matter. I said you shouldn't punish him. Like, what, what she's saying in terms of you did that, you, you ate all them girls, whatever, whatever, right? It's gross. It's disgusting. But we've been together two, three years. I'm not going to break up with you because of that. Yeah, but you're going to restrict them. And look at it different, yeah. right? If, but that doesn't. But wait, you're gonna restrict him and force. A, or you you're changing the dynamic of your relationship because Maybe. of the truth that has now came to the surface. And once you change that dynamic of the relationship, you put the relationship at jeopardy, anyways. Because he's gonna be like, I've been going to the strip clubs. It was never an issue. You find out the truth, and now I can't do something because it makes no, you upset. So if you have the conversation and you get to a crossroad, and it's like, look, this is something that's really important to me. I've been doing it. I've never done this since then. And I'm telling you, I'm not doing it. If you had a crossroad, all right, then what are you going to do? You're going to let him keep going. But what I'm saying is you're not going to break that's, up with them. That's No, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to cause a problem every time he wants to do it. Right. And then what with that problem? OK, so we're just going to sit here and, and I'm lie. I'm not going mean, to hold it on depends on the relationship. It does depend on the relationship. Oh, but I feel like now what? that she does know this information, I don't think that he's going to be that willing to go to if the she's already club. comfortable. OK, if she's the type of woman anyway, right? Think about this. If you basically told me that guys are meant to be hoes, right? No, and it's okay. You said that it's okay for a guy to be a hoes. I said that, Rico. You guys, well, you guys have said it doesn't matter. Well, Amanda. Say that. Amanda. Amanda said, said it doesn't matter if he does eat a bunch of strippers' pussies if that was before me. Because you want to accept that. We have to accept you could be frivolous with your mouth? No, I'm just saying I would question your she judgment. She was a little hoe back in the day, but it's all good. She's good now. <laughs> No, because sometimes some, sometimes women try to clean up well. Or they do clean up well. Really? Like, honestly, the, really? that just threw me off because what are you talking about? Whatever she did back then was back then. You know who she is with you. So it does not matter. It, it, it does not matter. Like, for someone else to be coming to tell you that as if, like, Okay, yeah, this is what your wife was, as if this is what she'll always be. No. So we're more so telling you the worst that we could be. 
And you're more so lying to us and telling us how bad, I mean, how good you could be. So we're telling each other different truths. Right. I'm preparing you for the worst. You're trying to prepare me for the best. The problem is, once you're at the bottom, there's only one way up. The problem is, when you're at the top, there's only one way down. And when you're not telling us the truth about that, now that doesn't, where, whatever bar you came in as, we have to now look down and see how far low you can go mm. and how far low you have been. And look at this whole gap and realize this is missing information. So now I don't know who I'm providing for. I don't know who, I'm, who I bought this house for. I don't know who I procreated in, in raising a child with. I don't know how I'm putting in 60, who I'm putting in 60 hours a week for. And you expect me to be okay with it. That's the issue. Do you think like if maybe if there wasn't such an environment of shame, in, in terms of you, because I don't know, you just spoke about the expectation of the Virgin Mary, right? Like how men expect the Virgin Mary, because women want to be what men want them to be, especially when it's a man you want. You want to be I want to be the woman you want me to be. Right. And so she'll present that. So do you think because of that expectation that creates a standard that women feel they have to be? And so they lie and. She's almost afraid, like, if I really tell this person about my past, they're going to judge me. Like, for right now, they really like me. They like this version of me. Maybe I can keep up this version. And I've grown from who I used to be, so let me just try to be who I am now. But you're, you're not even battle-tested on who you're trying to saying. be right now. And that's the thing. So, like, you can be whoever you think you aspire to be. But when situations arise, you're going to be what you are at your core. What if a situation ever arises? I mean, that's a probability. Life is going life, you know. I, <laughs> I highly doubt it doesn't, but you will be that's tested. What think. Temptation will always, always be there, right? And now some people will have greater temptation than others. But what I will say is this. If a woman was an open, honest, let's say she was an ex-ho, if she was open and honest with her man, a man, you got to understand you built trust with him. Even though he might judge you, that man will trust you. Because I'm like, if you tell me like, yo, listen, you know, back when I was 20 to 25, I was a thought. And we're 35 years old right now. But listen, this is what I was. This is what I'm working to be. And this is where I'm currently at. A man will look at you. He might be like, he might lie to himself and to his friends because he really wants to see which you can be because he can trust the fact that you can tell him the things that he don't want to know. Mm. Most women are liars, oh. right? This is a fact. Most, most women are liars. So when a woman can tell you truths that are uncomfortable and uncommon, it'll make a man trust him and give her a real shot. But when you lie, so even if you omit, which is to us like lying, it's like, like well, you're just like the rest of them. Y'all just talking and talking. And, and it's not even, it's not that we're not listening to you. We hear you. We don't fucking agree with you. That's it. So don't say we're not, we're not listening. We're but listening. You, but, Rico, you what you're agree. saying, you're, what you're saying <laughs> is that we're not going to agree. I, obviously, I can foresee this. But <laughs> you're saying that situations can arise and a, a woman can fall back into her old ways. And that's. That's just putting a stigma on a woman that to say that who she was at 19, 20, 21 years old is who she'll always be. And that's just not the truth. Well, it's be not a part the truth. Of people grow, people change, and 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 people live different lives. Who they are at 19, 20 years old is not who they are in their 30s or their 40s. They can completely change. They can completely have a whole different life. I don't know why you think that. Being in the strip clubs and being in a being a hoe at nineteen is who they resonate with at forty two. Like I don't I don't understand that logic at all. If that's what y'all sticking with, y'all stick with that. I already said my piece and I'm not arguing about it no more. Okay, so what I <laughs> but but wait but wait. See the problem that happens is that we get into a surface conversation, and when you start to actually look at the depths of your actions. That's why you are who you are, or that's why you did what you Come did. On, 
I'm just saying in general, as a woman, I'm like that's as a, a hoop woman, actions. if you was a hoe, right? Or you was a hoe, and then you tried to become a housewife. First of all, there's been proven theories you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, and that's why it is a cliche statement, right? But nonetheless, what you do is usually coming from a place of unhealed trauma. And now I have to expect that when you go through unhealed trauma as a woman, you are susceptible to do things of this extent. Now, I'm not saying you're going to always be a hoe, but you're going, you have a history of handling bad situations in your life negatively. And if you can't tell me that, I can't trust you when we go through a bad situation. Because it will happen. Are you not trusting her now that you know this information? Or have you not trusted her the whole time that you guys were together? No, you don't trust her because she didn't. Well, you don't trust her if she didn't tell you this information. What if, you if, if a girl said to a guy, peep game, I'm going to break this down for you. If a girl said to a guy, listen, I used to be a hoe back in the day when I was in my younger 20s. Right? We're together now. I want to see you. I want to build a future. This is who I am. Blah, 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 blah. The whole nine. And he decides to give her a chance. Right. All right. Cool. Let's say they end up getting married. Right. Let's say she goes back into that same environment in which she had already displayed bad behavior in her younger youthful days. He's going to be more at ease. You know why? Because I know she could tell me that, you know, what she would do when she was in the situation. Now, let me give you the other flip side of the coin, the comparison. I never knew who you were. You hid it from me, our entire relationship. And then we got married. And then after we got married, then you, I found out the truth. Not even from you, from Bob, Joe, and Jack. And then you want to tell me you're going to go back to the same environment in which you displayed that bad behavior? I will never trust you, ever. You don't, you don't even get an ounce of trust. I think it's very unrealistic for you to think that any woman is going to come into a new relationship and said, I used to be a hoe. Because who she used to sleep with, who she slept with, not to say it's none of your business, but she can let you know that like, oh, I dated this person, I dated this person, I dated this person. If she was just sleeping around just for the sake of sleeping around, who's coming into a new relationship and, say, and saying that? Is there a reason I should have to tell you this information? Because I would feel compelled to tell you if I know you about, you about to be around these niggas or you are connected to these niggas in any kind of way. You but if you're just some guy, <laughs> why am I telling you that for? You're hot. Exactly. When I first met you, if I didn't feel compelled to tell you because I know you wasn't around these people and I didn't feel like you had no connection to them, so I didn't have to disclose that information, why would I tell you? To tell a girl it doesn't matter what you do and that it's okay in a sense of you can... I don't think she said it doesn't matter what you do. No, you're saying... this is the, Okay, I'm going to answer your question too, Marie, because oh. this is exactly what it is. What'd you ask? To tell a woman that there's no consequence for your actions and you can still come out on top is unrealistic. I didn't right? say that either. I also did not hold say on. that. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. We're holding. What we're saying is I don't have to tell you who I was irregardless to you leaving me at any point, which means I get the chance to omit information. The real, the real underlining reason is because I don't want you to judge me and leave me, which is a consequence of your action. So you're basically in a nutshell saying, I don't want to be held responsible for my actions of what I did in the past. And I'm going to tell your answer was, I mean, your question was if women didn't have shame, would they be more open to do it? And yeah. the answer is no. Yeah.